I'm about to show you how to measure the moon, the sun, planets, and even stars using nothing but your hands, a coin, and a bit of math. If you can measure an angle, you can measure the universe. Step 1. Hand angles. At arm's length, my pinky is about 1 de grams. 3 fingers, 5 de gram, a fist, 10 de gram, and thumb to pinky. Shaka, bot, 25 de gram. Your arm length makes this surprisingly consistent. Angular size and radians physical size, distance. So distance, size, angle. I take a one centimeter sticker dot and hold it out until it just covers the moon. I measure my arm to be 1.10 mount. Angle D 0.01, 1.10 sour, 0.091 rad, 0.52 degram. That matches the moon's known half degree. Now, if I use the moon's known diameter, 3474 kilometers distance, 3474 kilometers, 0 0.091, 382,000 kilometers. Nailed it. Sun. Safely. Don't look at it. Make a pinhole in foil, about one millimeter, and project the sun onto a paper 1.0 m away. The image will be about DXL 0.093 x1 manm 9.3 mm across. Same angular size as the moon. Knowing the sun's diameter is 1.39 million kilowatt distance 1.3096 0.0093 150 million kilowatt. That's one AU. Planets. You can't resolve disks by eye, Jupiter's is tiny, but you can measure angular separations. Use your fist to estimate how far a planet is from the moon or a bright star tonight. Then compare on another night to see motion. That's how we confirm they're wanderers. Take two photos of a nearby bright star six months apart. Earth's baseline is 2 AU. If the apparent shift is P arc seconds, distance in parsecs 1 P. Example, P Paus 0.5, distance 2, PC 6.5 light years. Recap, measure an angle, multiply or divide once. You've got size or distance. The cosmos is just geometry at arm's length. Try it tonight. Tag me with your moon distance.